Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, so we got a U-door pump. It was on our Water Dragon, which is up there. Um, we needed to, we've had some issues with this pump. We've replaced the check valves. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other stuff that's busted inside of it. And as you can see here, she did not want to let loose on the gear. Um, yeah, you can, um, it, it just really binds on it. You can spray a whole ton of WD-40 and stuff in there, let it sit, put some penetrating oils and stuff. Slowly shimmy it off there. There's a um, key lock that goes right in there. If you can take these off, that's another option. Um, this unit's two years old. Uh, so this stuff was pretty well seized up. Um, and I think it was this one that stripped first. So once, once one of those bolts is stripped, you're kind of screwed there. So we kind of gave up on it. We figured we'd go ahead and rip this off. Since the, uh, the engine still works just fine. Um, and we've got a new pump now. All we have to do is get a new um, gearbox for it. So one of the things we want to do is go ahead and take out these other check valves and kind of salvage what we can off of this. Um, if you're sorry, if you're actually going to continue using this, I would not recommend to use an air ratchet. Um, you want to use a six point socket. Don't use a 12, but I'll take these out. one of the one of the busted check valves um, when taking this apart we actually found some of the silver screens that were in there and if you come over here you can see so you see all the way into that turn that water off so this check valve is busted this one we don't have the full the full spring there and for those of you that are going to comment that I'm wearing sandals, yep, that's my default thing. That's why I'm in business, so I can wear whatever I want to right now while I'm working on property. So check these check valves. Um, if you're having issues, the first two to check would be the first ones by your inlet and your outlet. These back ones are less likely to get damaged because they don't spend, they don't do as much work unless you're dual feeding your pump and having water come in through here. Uh, this first one does the most, pushing it up and then out. These other ones will get the additional flow. Um, this check valve, you can see how the spring is not actually pushing up to that plastic right there. Sometimes they'll get stuck, but see that spring should be pushing it back in there. So that one's busted. That one's all kinds of busted. Uh, take this one out and see. So that's, we were getting a lot of pulsating, very weak pressure, if anything, um, the way our tanks are plumbed up. See that one, spring's still good. So we'll keep that spring. A lot of times it'll just be literally one spring that'll be busted. The fact that this has come apart isn't a great sign. Um, as you see these, so that just sits on there pushes it up and I'll take this one out this one's falling apart too spring so good again the ideal situation is that you replace it with brand new check valves but a lot of times you're not going to have brand new check valves just sitting there in your shop 